Hi all, it's Andy from Solar Reviews again and today we're here to give our 2021 expert review for Canadian solar panels. Now the first thing to note about Canadian solar is they're actually mainly a Chinese company. What happened back in the day there was a subsidy in Ontario in Canada um, and so a company started manufacturing solar panels um, because of the stimulus provided by that subsidy to install solar in Ontario and after a little while they ran into some difficulties and then they were bought out by a group of Chinese investors and the management and most of the manufacturing moved to China. But Canadian Solar are one of the biggest manufacturers of solar panels in the world by volume. Their volume's above that 10 gigawatt level, um, which puts them into a similar sort of field as your Longies and Jinko Solars in terms of um, you know, being one of the largest manufacturers in the world. So to our 2021 ratings, um, as you know, if you've watched any of our other solar panel rating videos, we rate uh, panel brands on a score out of 50 um, based on a number of factors that we think are important for consumers to know. The first factor, which is allowed 10 points in the rating calculations, is module quality. Now for module quality, Canadian Solar scored 7 out of 10. Their sort of best residential module is about 20.9 percent efficient so it's one to two percent less efficient than the very best the market leader sun power with 22.8 i think is the most efficient panel so all that will mean if this is a 370 watt panel you know the sun power 370 watt panel might stop you know probably about there you know it would be slightly smaller but not massively smaller but it would still produce the same amount of power um, in standard kit test conditions. The other thing we look for with module quality is the temperature coefficient. The Canadian solar temperature coefficient minus 0.35 percent for this panel that puts it about mid-range a little bit behind the leaders with temperature coefficient we're looking for a lower number because we want output to fall less as temperature increases above test conditions temperature. So uh, seven out of 10, probably not a solid performance, a very high quality module made in very automated uh, factories, uh, mainly made in China, um, but, but credible, solid, reliable panel, good, good quality panel. It's just the electrical specs are slightly below the absolute leaders. Financial visibility. Um, here's where Canadian Solar is a really bankable company. And it's why it's used a lot internationally in very, very large projects because investment banks rate them as, as very, very bankable. So we scored them 10 out of 10. The reasons for this is Canadian Solar have actually been listed on the NASDAQ since 2008, so that's now 13 years. They have sales of around three and a half billion US dollars and profit of around 147 million. So in terms of solar panel manufacturers, that makes them one of the most profitable solar panel manufacturers, um, pure solar panel manufacturers in the world. <coughs> Another fact that we rate is USA investment. On this, Canadian don't score as highly. There's no manufacturing uh, in America, um, but you know they are listed on the NASDAQ here, so they have shareholders in America. So we scored them three out of five for you know American investment. The next category is value. It's the largest category in our rating system. We allow 15 points for value. On the value criteria, Canadian Solar scored 12 out of 15. It was their second highest scoring panel for value behind Longy, which scored 13 out of 15. And I don't think there was even any other company that even scored 12. So, you know, these are a really good value, high quality panel. Um, in terms of dealer network, we scored them four out of five. There's quite a few Canadian solar dealers around now. Um, there'll probably be several uh, in your state. Surprisingly enough, there are about 4.6% of residential sales were Canadian uh, solar panels. So quite a long way 
behind the market leaders, SunPower, which was I think about 14.6% of sales in 2020, uh, but still fairly credible volumes. So um, in terms of warranty, we only scored them three out of five. I, it's not such an important thing, but basically the two metrics we use to measure warranty is we measure the length of the product warranty. Theirs is 12 years, longer than the standard 10, but not as long as some others that offer 20 year or 25 year product warranties now. But it's sort of a weird thing, a product warranty anyway, because the product warranty is simply that this you know, physical thing will stay together. And then there's a separate warranty on how much output it will produce in standard test conditions. So, in, and that's called the power output warranty. In relation to the power output warranty, they guarantee about 84% of its day one peak rated power uh, at 25 years, um, which is respectable but there are some other companies that offer a guarantee that you know their panels will produce 92 or 93 percent of their rated power at 25 years to be frank i think you shouldn't put too much stock in that because i think different manufacturers take a view of whether they even care what happens in 25 years and so i think some are more aggressive in what they'll promise knowing that they probably won't be there to deal with the problem if it turns out their panels produce slightly less. Overall though, Canadian Solar scored 39 out of 50. We're fourth on our list overall behind uh, the leaders this year was LG, uh, Longy uh, and Qcells. And you know, I can recommend Canadian Solar Panels highly. They scored 39 out of 50, as I said, in our ratings, which puts them in the excellent category, only one point below being in the elite category, which is 40 points or better out of 50. I hope that helps you and fills you in a bit uh, about Canadian Solar Panels. Goodbye for now.